Need I say more? Stone Tumble Pilots plush. Up next. Let's do this. Hey people, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Um, we're just going to dive straight in with this one. Now we are in standard tuning and um, the intro riff, as you heard a minute ago, goes like this. <laughs> Okay, and then you're into the first riff. Okay, so you are basically just playing the top three strings for all of this, okay? For the first chord, it doesn't matter if you get the fourth one in as well. That um, D string, okay, it's part of a G chord. But the rest of it will matter, so just play the top three strings for the rest of the, of the chords to come, okay? Second chord is... Third chord... And then the fourth chord, back to part of a G chord. But then you do this little run up. And then you can either play three strings or two strings. You probably want to play two if you've got loads of distortion because otherwise it'll get messy. Okay, um, which is just tremendous, man. It's got to be one of the coolest riffs in grunge, I would say. Um, so let me play it clean so you can just hear the chords cleanly, okay? Okay, it's pretty straightforward, but let me slow it right down for you, okay? And the first riff comes in, which is immense. Okay, and then it goes round. So the rhythm is... Kind of um, loose, but essentially two notes and then four wacka wackers. Again, it's just a chromatic descending bass line, which is um, E flat, okay? And then it goes back up to the F for that last chord. Okay, so G. Pretty straightforward. It's just an open G. Uh, then you're going to go to a D with F sharp in the bass. And a bog standard F major chord. The next one is a uh, C with E in the bass. And then the last one is this um, E flat s major seven, I think. Yeah, but he plays it there. And then you go back to the F. So slowly. Then, next up is uh, this riff. Which is pretty straightforward. Okay, um, lots of other tunes have this kind of um, chord progression in. Uh, it's basically like a, a D shape, but without your little, uh, without your second finger there. 
that. So that is just zero, two, three, zero. Then you're just gonna go between the C and the B, okay? Third fret on the A string, second fret on the A string, so. And I'm lightly muting the um, E string here with my thumb over the top, okay? Just so I can strum away. Similarly, when I'm playing the um, C to B, the D string's getting muted by this finger, okay? Just by the angle of where it is. Um, and that, uh, that is quite unconscious, um, but you might um, find that you need to work on that a bit. You might find that you, you arch your fingers a bit too much, and you get that that D sounding clean. So to try and just angle your fingers so that you get, you get those ringing out, okay? So it's mute, on, mute, on, on, on. Now with the dirt. And coming out of that, he just goes between the E flat um, chord and the F major chord, okay? So you get. And you get that at the end of the second phrase, okay? In line with the drums, I think. And um, so you get this. And coming out of that, you play once round. Then you're back into the first verse riff, which is the... Then you go back around. Again this. And then you are smack bang into the chorus, okay? Which, um, another variation on the verse riff, basically, uh, goes like this. Just awesome as well. That slowly. There, I'm not sure if he does play that whole C chord. He might just play the first two no two or three notes. So entirely up to you what you do there. I'm, I'm kind of playing just the first three notes here. And the last part is just um, power chords slid up to the from the fifth fret on the A string to the um, sixth fret on the A string. And then you just loop around. There is another guitar that plays over that. Um, I don't know if you're interested in it, but I had a little noodle around it, and I think it is this. Okay, um, which is lovely. Um, so that part, that's over the G. Then for the F. Then for the uh, C chords with E in the bass, you're playing this. And then for the final chord, it's that little run. We play that with fairly clean, okay?
So let me play the notes through slowly and clean so you can hear them, okay? Okay, that's the first bit. Second chord. Third chord. Lovely, so melodic. The last chord is... That last chord again. And then with distortion. And that is it! Those are all the parts. I think after that it goes back into... Um, into that part. Uh, and then back into the chorus and back into that part again, I think, uh, to end. So, I hope you enjoyed that one. Love Stone Temple Pilots. I've been getting well into them recently, so uh, expect a few more of these, along with like a million other bands that I want to do. So, this has been fun. Let's do this again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.